Good morning, everybody. It is Happy Nostalgia here, and I have another inbox review of the Messerschmitt BF109 G6 in 1 to 70 second scale from Academy Hobby Model Kits. Um, let's. Um, the box is very nice. I really like this box art um, of these two BF109 G6s. Um, looks really nice. Here's a little. Um, Photos of the completed model, more uh, art on the back. Um, these are uh, contains uh, one assembly model. Just tells you what's in the box in multiple languages. So yes, um, there's just more box art, and there's nothing on the box. I mean, in the back. Uh, excuse me. So this is a top opening box. We all love top opening boxes. Very easy to keep uh, next to you. Um, let's start off with the decal sheet. Right here we have ten uh, different uh, German crosses, though only five pairs. Um, lots of uh, German crosses, usually you only get about uh, six of them, so you get a lot of extra variants uh, to put in your spare decal bin. You get the propeller spinner right there, the stripes, um, kind of like a little nose art almost, which was featured on the uh, cover art. Um, there's a lot of these uh, warning labels and whatnot. No swastikas. Nope, no swastikas. Um, let's, uh, this is a uh, warning guide. Right there. Not really too important, I guess. Um, this is the instruction manual. You can pause and read the very first paragraph in English, and uh, I think maybe the second paragraph might be in German, and uh, so on and so on, all in different languages. Um, the step one starts with the cockpit assembly right here. Step two, you're putting the fuselage halves together. Step three, we put the supercharger, the uh, gun, uh, the gun ports on the top of the engine, and we assemble the tail. The tail is its separate piece. It is not connected to the fuselage. That's how Academy does it. I do not know why. It's not to save space because their boxes are like extremely long. I, I have no, I have no clue. Um, it also comes with the option for a sand filter to build a tropical variant. Um, which is very nice. Here we add the horizontal stabilizers and put the tail assembly onto the fuselage. Here are the bulges around the uh, gun ports right there, almost iconic to the uh, G6. Um, exhaust and the propeller. Here on the, uh, it's the wing assembly and it says to drill out holes for the drop tank and the gun pods, um, which is a good reminder. I've actually had a few, actually one of the uh, Academy kits, it, they didn't tell you to drill holes um, for underwing uh, weaponry. So that was a little bit of a disappointment, but we have uh, the the uh, construction of the landing gear, sorry about that. Um, here just adding the landing gear and putting the wings to the fuselage and uh, some other smaller things. Canopy, we have the options to have the canopy opened or closed, which is nice. Um, I like it a lot when uh, companies uh, give you the option. Here, two different drop tanks and the 20 millimeter gun pod installation. We have uh, three uh, painting guides. This one is the B409 G6 R6 Trop, um, June 1943, Sicily. This is the one I think I will be doing, because this is the one featured on the box art. Um, here is the uh, the sprue map, right here. Here are the other instruction, I mean the other painting guides. This one's a BF109 G6, uh, doesn't say where it's flown, right here. This one's also very nice. This is a... BF109 G6 Trop, uh, 
in January 1944, Greece. This one does utilize the sand filter, so if you want to build a tropical model, uh, this is the one you want to do. So let's look at the the um, the canopy piece. Um, let's kind of get this into focus here. So here is the canopy. Um, nice. It doesn't seem like there's like pegs sticking out the side for the open canopy option, which might mean that. Um, you're just going to have to hold it there until it dries, which um, I don't like too much. So, our first sprue here has uh, the propeller and the... Uh, hold on, this is uh, sliding all around. It has the propeller and the gun, the uh, engine-mounted gun ports. You, you do not use... A8, um, there are differences between them. Let's see if my camera can pick it up. This one kind of has a panel line drawn out around the guns, while this one does not. Propellers nicely molded. Um, fuselage has, as you can see, there is no tail added to it, which I still find very odd. And the tail piece. Let's see if there's any, uh, internal detail. There is a little bit of uh, cockpit wall detail right here. So that's the uh, first sprue. Second sprue, um, we have a lot of smaller pieces. We have, um, we start off with the, uh, one of the uh, drop tank options. You have two of them in this kit. Um, Sorry about all this moving around. Um, that's the landing gear. Um, very nice uh, instrument panel detailing right here. Let's see if we can get it to focus a little bit. Um, there is the sand filter. You can see right there. Joystick, uh, supercharger, exhaust, and... Um, some other pieces. There's the other drop tank option and the uh, top half of the wings. These are recessed panel lines, which is very nice. Um, Academy does a good job with that. And, um, this is the next sprue. I think it's easier without the little board. These are our horizontal stabilizers. Um, wheels are treaded, which are very nice. Lint the gear legs right here, propeller components, the uh, gun, the uh, gun bulges. This one has something else extending out, which I do not know what. Uh, attachment for the drop tank and the underwing gun pods and the lower wing assembly. So these are the holes that you want to drill out. So that's it in this kit. Um, four sprues and uh, Three in a gray plastic and one clear plastic. I'm excited to build this uh, this plane. Um, it looks really nice. I've been wanting to do a uh, G series or Gustav for a while now, and um, yeah, I really can't get a, give a full opinion until I'm done with this model. But it looks like the parts are gonna fit well, and um, that overall it's just a good kit. So. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Um, have a great day. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.